What if I told you that the solution to our global energy crisis is floating in the ocean? No drilling, no fracking, just seawater. And inside that seawater, enough uranium to power the planet for the next 170,000 years. That's not science fiction, it's a real scientific breakthrough. And it's not just about energy, it's about shifting the entire balance of power on Earth. Because whoever figures out how to efficiently extract uranium from seawater first could control the future. Here's what's happening. Right now, most nuclear power plants run on uranium extracted from rocks, hard to reach ores buried deep underground. But this method is expensive, geopolitically messy, and comes with serious environmental baggage. Mining destroys ecosystems, contaminates groundwater, and in some cases, empowers unstable regimes with the keys to nuclear power. But here's the twist. For every grain of uranium in the Earth's crust, there are over 1,000 more atoms dissolved in the oceans. The total? An estimated 4.5 billion tons. That's more than enough to supply the entire world's nuclear reactors for millennia. So why haven't we tapped it yet? Because extracting uranium from seawater is like trying to pull sugar from iced tea. The uranium is extremely diluted, about 3.3 parts per billion. Traditional methods just aren't efficient enough. But now, scientists at North China Electric Power University and Lanzhou University have developed a game-changing technique. Their method increases uranium extraction efficiency by a staggering 20 times compared to previous approaches. At the heart of this breakthrough is a new absorbent, a kind of uranium sponge made from a polymer called PAN, polyacrylonitrile, and infused with something called a layered double hydroxide, or LDH. Think of it like a nanoscale fishing net that's chemically tuned to grab uranium ions and ignore everything else in the water. Here's how it works. The pan LDH fibers are dipped into seawater. Uranium ions stick to the material thanks to their unique affinity for the functional groups on the polymer. After enough uranium builds up, the material is pulled out and the uranium is chemically stripped off. The fibers can then be reused, up to seven cycles with very little performance loss. This new technique not only captures uranium faster, it's also more selective, meaning fewer unwanted minerals get in the way. That's crucial for making this scalable and cost-effective. Now let's zoom out a bit. If this tech goes mainstream, the implications are massive. 1. Clean energy at scale. Seawater uranium could power thousands of new generation reactors, including molten salt reactors and small modular reactors. These are safer, more efficient, and produce far less waste than traditional plants. 2. Energy independence. Countries without domestic uranium mines, like Japan or South Korea, could harvest fuel directly from the sea. That levels the geopolitical playing field. 3. Zero carbon, always on. Unlike solar or wind, nuclear doesn't care if the sun's shining or the wind's blowing. Uranium from the seawater enables a baseload, clean power source that can run 24-7. 4. Less mining, less waste. By skipping traditional mining, we eliminate land degradation, toxic runoff, and community displacement. The environmental impact is dramatically lower. But this won't be easy. The next step is scaling. To make uranium from seawater viable, we need two things. Gigantic absorbent farms with long nets, fibers, or mats deployed in the ocean, left to soak up uranium over weeks or months, and efficient regeneration systems with ways to clean and reuse the absorbents without degrading performance. Researchers believe that floating farms off the coasts of nuclear-rich nations could produce uranium at a competitive price, especially as traditional mines become more expensive and harder to reach. Right now, the cost of uranium from seawater is about $200 to $300 per kilogram. 
That's higher than the $30 to $50 market price for mined uranium, but the gap is closing quickly. And with this 20 times efficiency leap, we could hit cost parity within a decade. Of course, nothing is perfect. Here are a few things we'll need to watch closely. Marine Ecosystem Impact What happens when we deploy massive absorbent arrays into open water? Could they disrupt ocean life or leach harmful materials? Resource Competition If every nation suddenly wants to harvest uranium from the sea, will it create territorial disputes? Waste Management even seawater-based uranium ends up as nuclear waste eventually, we still need better long-term storage solutions. The International Energy Agency says we need to triple global nuclear capacity by 2050 to meet climate targets. But nuclear development has stalled in many countries, partly due to supply chain bottlenecks, uranium scarcity, and public fear. This new seawater extraction breakthrough doesn't just unlock a new fuel source, it could rewrite the playbook for global energy. It gives us a clean, continuous power option with no emissions, no mining, and no gas pipelines. If we do it right, uranium from the sea could be what oil was to the 20th century. Only cleaner, safer, and nearly limitless. But what do you think? Would you support ocean-based uranium harvesting as part of our climate strategy? Or does it raise too many questions? Drop your thoughts below. This is iTech. Subscribe if you want to stay on the cutting edge of energy, tech, and the future of the planet.